everybody. You are just in time. I have been having a blast celebrating Chinese New Year. What's Chinese New Year? Well, it's the Lunar New Year. So in China, they, instead yeah. of following the sun or the solar calendar, they follow the lunar calendar, which is the moon. Um, so I've been eating Chinese food and the probably the best way to celebrate something is by making some awesome artwork. So let yes. me get rid of this Chinese food. Yes, we are gonna be going someplace really special for our art project today. And like you can probably guess, we are going back to ancient China. The year is 1368, during one of the greatest, I think, one of the greatest dynasties in China. <laughs> And that is called the Ming. So our goal is to learn about the Ming Dynasty. And I wish we could make a traditional Chinese porcelain vase like this one out of real porcelain clay. Since we can't do that, we can do something just as good, which is make a drawing of it. So I am going to sneak you into the Forbidden City which is located in the capital of China, Beijing. And normally only the imperial family or the emperor himself was allowed in that city. But we're gonna go to that city, we're gonna learn about Ming pottery, and you are going to get to make your own beautiful Chinese Ming vase. Okay, so are we ready to travel back in time? to the Imperial Forbidden City. Close your eyes and poof. Our learning goals are that you will be able to create works of art that reflect community cultural traditions. Our essential question is, how do people contribute to awareness and understanding of their lives through art making. This lesson takes place on the continent of Asia in the country of China and the capital of Beijing. The Ming Dynasty was the family of emperors who led China from 1368 to 1644. Why do we want to learn about the Ming Dynasty? Well, because art flourished during this time period. This included literature, painting, music, poetry, and porcelain. Ming vases were made of blue and white porcelain, which is a vitrified pottery that was very fine-grained and translucent. Okay, now it's time for you to design your own Ming vase. We are going to start with a thick piece of 9 by 12 white drawing paper. We are going to fold it in half to create a line of symmetry. Using a pencil, only draw half of the shape of your vase. Then we are going to take our scissors and cut out that shape. Now for the fun part. It is time to draw your design. So it's good to start with a reference photo of a vase that you really like, or you can use the handout that shows you different Chinese patterns and symbols. I decided to put a lotus at the top of my vase, and in the center, I am drawing the Forbidden City Palace. You can also add animals like a dragon or a panda. Really anything that interests you, you can add to your vase design. Just make sure you draw it with pencil first. I traced my design with a regular blue ink pen and then I used different shades of blue colored pencils to shade in my design. Now you could glue your vase to a piece of light blue paper for the background, but I actually don't have any so I'm just going to paint a piece of paper and I laid a piece of plastic wrap to make texture in the background. Now I'm adding some branches some of cherry blossoms by taking brown craft paper and twisting it and gluing it to the top. 
the actual cherry blossoms, you can use pink tissue paper or really any type of thin paper that you want to glue to the branches. The last step is to glue all of your pieces together to finish your awesome Ming vase collage. I hope you enjoyed this outrageous art lesson, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe.